This video will introduce you to Part B of the registration application. To begin, access the GST website www.gst.gov.in. From the home page, open the Services menu. Click the Registration category and select New Registration option. Select the temporary reference number option and enter the TRN that was generated on submitting part A of the registration application. Enter the CAPTCHA as usual and click proceed. This will trigger an OTP. Enter the OTP received and proceed further. Notice the status of the registration application shows as draft. Go ahead and click the edit icon. Part B has 10 sections, with each section containing multiple fields that need to be filled up. Make sure to fill out all the mandatory fields, otherwise you will not be able to complete Part B. You get 15 days to fill and submit this application. In the Business Details section, provide the basic details of your business. Be careful when you select the Constitution of Business from the available options. Click the link to find out your central jurisdiction. Fill out rest of the fields and add information about your existing GST registrations, if any. Click Save and continue to save this information. Notice the Business Details section's color has now changed to blue and also has a tick on it, indicating the section is filled. You can now navigate to any section of the application and start filling the application. In the Promoter or Partners section, enter the personal information identity information and the residential address of the partner or promoter. In case of director, enter the director identification number allotted by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Next, upload the photograph of the person whose information is provided. Make sure the photograph is in JPEG format and size is less than 100 KB. In the Other Information section, select the slider to Yes if this person needs to be an authorized signatory also. Let's keep it as No for now. The next section allows entering details of the authorized signatories. Set the primary authorized signatory and enter relevant personal information. Provide identity information, residential address with PIN code and upload necessary proof of authorization as signatory along with a photograph. Make sure the photograph is in JPEG format and size is less than 100 KB. You can add multiple authorized signatories by clicking the Add New button and adding the details. Click Save and continue to save this information. In the next section, you may enter details of any authorized representative if desired. Else, move to the next section, Principal Place of Business. Here, provide the address of your business premises the contact information of the given location, nature of possession of the premise and a document that supports this information. Make sure the document is in PDF or JPEG format and size is less than 1 MB. In case of the principal place of business is neither on rent nor on premise, select 
the other option and upload a no objection certificate noc from the owner of the premises next enter the nature of your business similarly add the details of additional place of business in case you carry out business from multiple premises move on to the next section on goods and services related information in this section provide information related to five primary goods and services that you supply enter the name of the goods and services and the hsn harmonized system of nomenclature code will be displayed move on to the next section on bank accounts this section requires the details of at least one bank account that you are using for business purposes once you fill out the bank details upload a supporting document such as the scanned copy of a cancelled check leaf the account statement or a copy of the passbook's first page you may add more than one account also if you want link to find the ifsc code of the bank in the next section you may provide any state specific information if desired else you can jump to the last section of the application to verify that the information furnished is true and correct to have a legal binding once done submit the application for companies and limited liability partnerships llps it is mandatory to submit the application using the pan based class 2 or 3 digital signature certificate dsc but before submitting the application using dsc the dsc needs to be registered using the register dsc service on the portal alternatively the application can be submitted using the e sign or electronic verification code evc option both these services require you to enter the otp for authentication in case of e sign otp will be sent to the mobile phone number registered with the aadhaar database in case of evc otp will be sent to the registered mobile phone number of the authorized signatory agree to the warning message which says that all your furnished information is subject to verification and scrutiny upon successfully submitting part b of the registration application an acknowledgement reference number arn will be displayed as well as sent on your mobile phone number and email address if you go to the saved applications section in the gst portal and find your submitted application you will notice that the status has changed to pending for verification it's that simple